Madam Chair, firstly, I wish to congratulate you for chairing the third session of the Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction in 2011. Madam Chair, I have the great honor to speak on behalf of the government of Tonga in expressing our sincere appreciation to the President of the Swiss Confederation, Her Excellency President Micheleni Kamire, and the people of Switzerland for their friendliness and warm hospitality. Madam Chair, the island kingdom of Tonga, which is situated in the central South Pacific, is extremely vulnerable to the impacts of natural hazards, the climate-induced hazards, and geological hazards. The geographical location and geological composition of Tonga greatly determine its susceptibility to these impacts, for they fundamentally affect the environment, the people of Tonga, and their livelihoods. In addition, these impacts seriously affect sustainable development and also threaten the accomplishment of global, regional, and national goals in relation to disaster risk reduction and disaster management. Scientific findings revealed that these impacts, particularly climate-induced hazards, will be exacerbated by future climate change. The government of Tonga has made significant progress in addressing disaster risk management issues. It has considered these issues as highest priorities in its national strategic planning framework. A national disaster fund was set up in June 2008 to facilitate post-impact recovery process and the National Emergency Management Act was promulgated in 2007. In addition, awareness campaigns with stakeholders, including government ministries, non-government organizations, private sectors, academia, youth groups, women's groups, church leaders and members, and also communities are part of an ongoing process of disaster risk management capacity building. Madam Chair, one of the key milestones and important step forward for Tonga is the development of its joint national action plan on climate change adaptation and disaster risk management. In Tonga, we have explored the linkages between climate change ad adaptation and disaster risk reduction. They both focus on the same underlying aim, and that is to reduce vulnerability and risk and to enhance resilience to the impacts of climate change and natural hazards. Tonga is the first country in the Pacific region to develop this joint plan and keen to be the first to fully implement this initiative. This plan is consistent with national, regional, and international policy on climate change and disaster risk management, and specifically the Pacific Disaster Risk Reduction and Disaster Management Framework for Action and the Pacific Island Framework for Action on Climate Change 2006-2015. Tonga is pleased to have paved the way for other countries in the Pacific and also acknowledge that some countries in the Pacific are currently developing their joint climate change adaptation and disaster risk management action plan, including the Cook Islands, Marshall Islands, Fiji, Federated States of Micronesia, and Niue. Madam Chair, the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, the National Emergency Management Office, and the National Multidisciplinary Teams for Climate Change Adaptation and Disaster Risk Management play the key role in developing this plan in Tonga. Special gratitude is offered to the Applied Geoscience and Technology Division SOPEC of the Secretariat of the Pacific Community and SPREP, Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Program Joint Team for providing professional and technical assistance throughout the development of this plan. Tonga is indeed fortunate to have experts in the country with the required skills and expertise to carry out this important task. This was a valuable exercise as it enhanced the te technical capacities of the national. It also reduced Tonga's dependence on international consultants. Utilizing the resources already available in the country and the organizations in the Pacific region to carry out this task is a cost-effective mechanism. Consultative meetings with politicians, head of government ministries, non-government organizations, private sectors, and communities were conducted and strong support in the development of this plan was evident. Last year in 2010, cabinet ministers in Tonga approved this plan and the establishment of institutional framework and committees to coordinate the effective and timely implementation of this plan. This plan comprises six national and community priority goals, which are improved good governance for climate change adaptation and disaster risk management, enhanced technical knowledge base, information, education, and understanding 
of climate change adaptation and disaster risk management, analysis and assessment of vulnerability to climate change impacts and disaster risks, enhanced community preparedness and resilience to impacts of all disasters, and building strong partnerships with in-government agencies and with non-government organizations and civil societies. Further, different needs and contributions of, of women and men are recognized in this plan. However, to ensure that gender equality is considered when the plan is implemented, close collaboration with Ministry of Women Affairs and community groups are essential. The technical and financial assistance for even ISDR, UNDP, and UN OCHA are critical. In closing, I want to reiterate that we must all act now. Let us continuously share amongst ourselves the best practices for our success in doing things which help building our resilience to disaster risk. We must at all times be better prepared to adequately respond to impacts of all disasters. The need for clo close cooperation and strong partnerships within government and with non-government organizations and civil societies, not only at the national level, but also at the regional and international level is crucial. The availability of appropriate technologies and sufficient financial resources will also be critical. These elements will assist us all in the promotion and achievement of nations and communities that are safe and resilient to disaster risks. While Tonga has developed this joint action plan to help reaffirm our commitment to resolving the important issues of vulnerability and risk, we also urge the global community to support our wider efforts in the Pacific to harmonize our regional policies for climate change adaptation and disaster risk management. We have started a move towards this end when the Pacific Climate Change Roundtable endorsed in March this year the integrated um, implementation of our respective frameworks for climate change and disaster risk management. In moving towards a singular framework, however, we need support at the global level. Hopefully, our experiences in the Pacific on this front can prove useful to other regions that may consider going down the same road. I thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam.